Hey guys, welcome back to Opilar Orchids. Thanks for checking in. I apologize. I can hear fighting a little bit of a cold here the last few days, so I will try to edit out any coughing or sneezing and try to hold the camera steady. So it'll be a short one today, but we just wanted to look at a couple of these Phalaenopsis orchids, discuss some interesting things about naming an orchids, and just a closer look at these two particular. This one is called the Germain Vincent apparently, technically. Uh, here was the tag that we were given with this plant. So it is listed as a Vilacea alba crossed with Speciosa coffee. A quick note, you can tell species by the fact that the Vilacea, in this case, and the Speciosa, well, those are both species, but if you aren't sure, species should begin with a lowercase letter. Uh, technically in binomial nomenclature. So they, they are both Phalaenopsis species. And when you have a cross of species, that is called a primary hybrid in biology speak. So it's a primary hybrid uh, between Vialacea and Speciosa. Now, when this cross was originally made, I think this was registered back in like 1978 or something with the RHS. It was a Vialacea ex uh, speciosa. Now, when you remake a hybrid, oh, and that hybrid which was registered as a Germain Phalaenopsis Germain Vincent, uh, both capitalized Germain and Vincent. So anyways, um, however, now when you remake a cross, even if it's using different cultivars, like this is Vialacea alba, so it's a different form of Vialacea that was used in the original cross, and the Speciosa is a cultivar called coffee. It is still technically called a Germain Vincent, even though it is also technically a different cross using different genetics, but it's still the same two species, so it is still called a Germain Vincent. Just to complicate matters a little bit more, um, this particular cross, this speciosa actually is technically also known as Tetraspis. So this tag could be called Vialacea alba crossed with Tetraspis coffee, apparently. But Schwerte here in Germany still uses the old name a lot. Uh, on many of their tags, it still says speciosa. I don't know if that's not officially recognized, but everything that we see says that Speciosa is Tetraspis. So that complicates things slightly. That's that guy. And now to move to its sister plant, maybe? Cousin plant, I guess? This is a reciprocal cross, it's called, in breeding and hybrid biology. I guess maybe not technically. So technically a, a reciprocal would be like if I were to cross this plant here, that flower, with that flower, and then I took the pollinia from the Tetraspis back there, and put it onto this flower, that would technically be a reciprocal cross. I'm not sure if you can call this a reciprocal cross because it's a Tetraspist crossed with Vialacea. So technically, right, the exact plants, except well, not the exact plants, but the exact species, just in reverse. Now, Tetraspis is the pollen, or sorry, the capsule parent, because it's listed first. So the Tetraspis was the mom, she carried the seed. And in this cross, the Vialacea magenta norton was the pollen parent donating the pollinia. So this cross is called a Jennifer Palermo a Jennifer Palermo. It's, you know, that's just kind of how you read these tags and a little bit again, like the Tetraspis, that, that uh, T2 indicates a cultivar, specific cultivar, as does Magenta Norton. This is from Schwerte Orchidean, where we get a lot of our Phalaenopsis. It's, well, yeah, you can see there, uh, Schwerte. It is 
interesting that it's also now in bloom right around the same time. These are like fall. Well, this guy is always in bloom. It takes a couple months off. I don't know, at late uh, spring, early summer, it seems to stop. But then it's always a, you know, a sequential bloomer. It puts on a few blooms. We'll show it again in the next couple of weeks as like the rest of it opens. But that's just a great flower. I uh, love the coloration in there. The speciosa, aka tetraspis, is where the, the difference in the pigmentation, so each of these flowers will be a little bit unique, not like some of the Phalaenopsis hybrids where every flower is identical and that's like a goal of it. You want them all to be the same. But with the speciosa or tetraspis, those species lend this variation in colors, in pigmentation and flowers. Each one will be slightly different. It's kind of neat right now. This is a, a good time to show this one because you can see that when the flowers, uh, the buds are first appearing, like in this little one there, right there, that little one you can see is brand new as is this guy at the bottom. So they don't really put on a lot of heavy pigmentation until just before they open. And that's when they turn pretty dark pink. They will have a few bars on them, but it'll be interesting to see how much pigmentation is in all of them. I do love the, the little barring, negative barring, I guess you could call it, like around the center of the flower. So pretty nice pigmentation. Another interesting facet of these plants is that a while ago I came across a YouTube video that was like from a channel called like English Flowers and Gardens or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but she, the, the lady in the video, uh, she had this exact tag from Schwerta and her plant was purchased. Well, that video was uploaded a couple years ago. So around the time that we got this plant, it had that exact tag from Schwerta as well. But the flower on hers looked nearly identical to this. So I don't know. I really don't understand. I'll be, I don't know, I'll be interested to see if these flowers come out to look similar or identical, like in pigmentation and all the form and everything on the tongue or the lip, you know, that hairy lip with the yellowish golden center there. I don't know. It's interesting. And, it, you know, just when you start to delve into where the plants are coming from, I don't know where these genetics uh, came from. I just know that we bought both plants from Schwert. We'll see how it goes and we will keep you updated as these guys further bloom. Hopefully we can have some comparison photos uh, or videos. Thanks for checking in guys. Hope you're having a good one and we will see you back here at El Pilar soon.